can Zealot drop into the middle line here of Knight. Knight got not got a lot to deal with back here. He's still got a few Marines and a few Marauders, and they're slightly out of position. Oh, he's going through a Sentry drop here. I'm liking this by Randy. He's going to be warping, uh, dropping these in, force fielding these SCVs into this area, and then just sapping them with their laser. Stalker pushing forward here, cancelled on that one as he does see this army pushing forward I'm not too sure if this is wise it's probably just to try and bait out this bit of army why the drop comes here at the main it looks like he's gonna force field this ramp actually and move backwards nice play by uh, Randy coming down here he's gonna lose all his army at the front though one more stalk coming SCVs are even being pulled coming to the fray so it's nice force field here stalk is being warped in as well and Knight in a lot of trouble back here. I mean, he's got this bit of army down at the front, but not a lot to deal with it. And with these force fields as well on the ramp, I don't think Knight will be able to do anything. Given vision of the high ground, he is able to get there, but the more force fields do go down. Still has this warp prism up as well. So he's still able to warp in more stalkers. SCVs are being pulled here. Another great force field going down by Randy. And Knight in a lot of trouble. Another force field to cover it down. Medivac is down as well. And Randy looking in commanding position right now. Stimming to try and get up there and try and do much damage, but he can't. Supply is even out here. Even probes are being uh, trained. And there's a GG by Knight, and Randy takes it 2 0 and puts UK in the lead with 1 2 0. So, we do see Randy take that for Team G uh, UK. It is great play there by Randy, and that was awesome. Same well played, thank you. Next up will be. Uh, who's next up? I do believe it is Blader versus Packwick. So, uh, just gonna sort this out and we'll be on our way. Uh, config one, okay. Do, do, do. There's gotta be an easy way of doing this. So ladies and gentlemen, we are going into the second game, it's going to be between, from Team Inferu, it's representing Team UK, it's going to be Blader, and he's going to be up against the Irish Packwick, it's going to be on Terminus SE, and it's going to be a TVP, this time the TV being UK. So, let's just update these scoreboards, and get them sorted in to play next against Zig Tomney will be where are you So we are having our Terran player Blader who's done magnificently well for us recently. There's the GG's and let's get into this game. It is going to 
B on GSL Terminus SE. Blader vs Pat Whip for Team UK. Team UK currently 1 0 ahead of Team Islands. Now let's get this on the go and see what is happening. So just waiting for the players to load in. Blade is just the last one and let's get going. Oh come on. The lag is from Ireland. What are you playing at? I'm all loaded, players are loaded in. Why aren't we going? There we go. Spawning up here in the top position on Terminus SE, we have from Ireland, we have the orange Protoss Packwick. And spawning down in the bottom, in the left hand side of the map, we have from Team UK, it is Blader from Team In Fear. So we saw Randy take down their last guy, Knight, in a PVT to put UK onto the scoreboard. And can we see Blader carry it on and take it 2 0 for Team UK? We'll soon find out. Blader has been very, very strong in previous matchups that he's played against. He's played in most of them. He's also later on in the 2v2. So it would be great fun to see him play in that as well with Zictomini, his favourite ally. Currently, they're 1 1 in their 2v2s. So it'll be interesting to see if they can carry it on. So, no cheeky synagogues going out on here. Very, very big map from. This one, I mean, close air spawn positions as well, so easy for dropping for Blader into the third if it goes up far. We do have the rocks here on this map but with the full set of mineral patches and two Vespine geysers. On some additions, you can see five mineral patches with no rocks and just the one gas. So we do normally see a like one rex expand or something on here, or one gateway expand for the Protoss. Because it's just a huge, huge map as both players are out now scouting it. Blade obviously going in the right direction to start off with, and we'll be able to scout his opponent first. Where's his pack? We're taking the long way around, and we'll be the last place to scout. We see the gas going down for Blader, so interesting choice of things here. Not actually good choice here from Blader. No fast expansion just yet for him. And we do see the gas being taken from Packwick, and we will see the Sabalens is caught as soon as that gateway has finished up. And there it is on that side of the pylon. So Packwick finally decided to find out where Blader is in this last position. And Blader looking to more than likely get the tech lab on there. There it is. And we will see a Marauder opening, I believe, from Blader as he will look to stop any scouting going off into here, which he will do quite easily as the marine does come out. Nice little step micro, will he get the kill? Will he see it? He gets the kill, but he does see it, I believe. Uh, where are you? Yep, you do see the tech lab. So we do see that, we do see Marauder and Kokosha Shell coming out from the player. We do see the first set out. Stalker being chrono boosted out afterwards as well. A bit chrono boost left on here, but we shouldn't see any 4 gate going off. Film pack quick so is looking to maybe expand behind this. So he's going for a one max expand and Blader looking to expand as well. He's saving up those minerals, sending down the SCV, and we'll see the expansion highlighted coming up very shortly by Blader. Where are you? There it is. And there's the expansion going down from Blader. A couple of Marines and Marauder, one Marine and one Marauder is out at the minute. Conquest Shell just finished up for them as well. We do see the Stalker and the Zealot out on the field for Pat we're just getting that map control, getting that first watchtower here so be pretty interesting to see Reaper going off maybe do a bit of scouting which it is doing so we'll be going straight into the base of Packwick to have a scout around what is going off Tomb Raider and a Marine pushing out here this will be spotted by uh, Patwick but uh, Blader is going to have to pull back he does lose that one Marine obviously with the Stalkers outranging them and they will retreat. One could go in down here just to be a little bit extra safe for Blader. We see the warp gate research three quarters of the way done for him as well, Patwick. 
two gateways follow in suit and one like to see a robotics bay go down very shortly. Robotics facility, should I say? Do you correct myself? So you do see the two rats go down from Blader, obviously very standard like we saw in the last game, but obviously Blader just opening that Tet Lab Marauder opening before the expansion. Uh, expansions finish up basically about the same time. There's that robotics facility going down for uh, Patwick as well here at the back of his base. Reaper does get in here, has a scout around, does see the warp gate finished up, will get into the mineral line and will get trapped by the pros and go down. I don't think Blader did see that robotics facility, but you can probably more than like guess it because this is a very standard opening from the Protoss player. So we do see engineering big come down fairly early one, uh, get that plus level one upgrade, we do see two more, uh, another tech lab and a react coming down on these barracks for the English blader as well. So at the minute all very standard here, just sitting back, getting those Gas is up to get those upgrades for Blader back in Patwick's base. We do see the robotics bay coming out, facility um, observer, and we will more than likely see the immortals popping out just after that for himself. Just producing more uh, probes as well. Looking at the work count, let's have a look 31 SCVs to 33 probes. But one mule as well, but we do have the second orbital command as well, so we'll be on two mules. First observer coming out, and a second observer coming out here for Patwick, so he's wanting to be extra safe, making sure that no drops go down from the Terran player or anything of the sort, as we do see the factory coming down for Blader here, so we can take up to those medevacs, so we will see the reactor on there, followed by the starport being built. Observer coming into here to the main of Blader to have a scout around to see what is going off. Blader not actually quite aware of this, he is quite marauder heavy at the minute, he's got a good deal of marauders out at the minute. And nice going off by Blader, making sure no supply block or anything of the sort. There's that weapons one upgrade coming out from Blader as it looks like Patwick is looking to expand and take his third base very shortly. Twilight Council coming out. For Blader, uh, for Blader, a Twilight Council for a Terran Blader, that is not right. But Terran Blader is pushing out here, Medivac uh, support not even complete yet. And there's a scan go down, he's got a few sentries with a lot of energy on as well, so we'll be able to cause down some nice force field, but no force fields going down, still a gap going down, and Blader looking quite comfortably at the minute that can push his shell, doing lots of work, picking off these zealots one after the other. And nice little engagement there from Blader, not the best of force fields by the Krodos player, as we do have two observers inside. I do believe we have a second observer, where's that second observer? I do not know where that second observer is. Oh well. But yes, at the minute it looks like Patwick is going to try and save up to that third expansion very shortly here. He is behind him, uh, supply can, and we do see a dark shrine coming out of him. Right now, where are you, Mr. Dark Shrine? You are at the back of his base. So we're gonna have some nifty DT works coming in very shortly. Charge is coming out to that Twilight Council, wherever that will be. There it is. And we don't have a lot of anti-air to take down this factory. This factory will scout the third expansion going down very shortly, but it's not actually going to go and see that Dark Shrine. It does land to block it even more. Blader, a little bit supply blocked. He's got a supply depot just about to finish up, and we do have him pushing out again. He do look, he's looking for that plus one. Time and attack. Two medevacs are out on the way for him as well. He doesn't have two out at the minute, but we do have a sensor tower here. Uh, sensor tower missile to it, so no DTs will be able to actually get inside the main base of Blader just yet. But this is is coming here. No force fields. Army is way out of position here for these Protoss player and nice force field going down trapping in the zealots are getting slowed down so much by the marauders and the concussion shell blade are looking in great great form at the minute no d2s are not finished yet dark shrine just finishing up he has got the minerals to warp these dt's in are these dt's not being warped in i think the cooldown is still going off on these yes the cooldown is still going down warp prism is out looking for that warp prism drop of dt's one dt being warped in right now does Blade to have any, yes he does, he has energy on it, both of his command centers so he can get a scan when this DT starts hacking away and you will be able to tell that very shortly, he's going to deny this third expansion as well, guess the cancellation on that, Blade looking such great straight, 103, 
multiply to 34 DT slashing away as much as possible here he doesn't actually realize it just yet there goes the warp prism uh, no sentry at the top here for Blader. Blader can't actually figure out these DTs just yet. He needs to